Welcome to Dog One News. My name is Brent. I'm here with Brooklyn Solens. Congratulations to Mr. Morton for winning Teacher of the Year. Great job, Mr. Morton. Keep making us smart. This is Sarah with Mr. Morton, who has recently been honored with Teacher of the Year. So, Mr. Morton, how long have you been teaching here at Cash? This is my 12th year teaching here at Cash, yes. We know that you teach a lot of interesting classes, and out of those classes, what is your favorite to teach? Oh, my goodness. Well, I like all of them. Um, and if, you know, what are, no matter what I say, it's going to make one of my classes irritated. But, <laughs> so I like all my classes. Probably the most interesting, though, is mythology. I've taken mythology. It's interesting. <laughs> So how many times have you been honored with Teacher of the Year? This will be my second time. Your second time. Yeah, I got it in 2006, 2007. You must be pretty special. <laughs> <laughs> they must like you a lot. <laughs> okay, quick. It's okay. You got it. So how do you feel with being honored with Teacher of the Year again? Very, very humbled. Um, there are some excellent teachers there at Cash High School, and to be selected by my peers for this honor, I mean, I was very surprised <laughs> and very, very humbled because, like I said, I mean, there's so many great teachers here that are just as des deserving, if not more so, for this award. All right, well, thank you for your interview. Back thank to you. the desk. <laughs> Ms. Taylor and her class did some voice threads on their iPads. Brent, do you know what those are? No, not really, but how about we take a quick look and learn about it? Hi, I'm Melissa, and I'm here with Ms. Taylor. So I hear you all are doing voice threads? Yes, we started them last week, and they are creating a how to voice thread and we have how to's on everything from how to noodle a catfish to how to do a fishtail break. So are the kids doing very well with them? Are they getting it very well? Are they having to little jump with it? No, they're, they're doing very well with it. They're uploading them to Dropbox and we're watching them from there. Oh, that's good. So what gave you the idea to do this assignment? Um, because it's a nice tool to use for presentations that's outside of just doing a regular research paper. They can use this instead. Oh, that's good. Would you like to tell us anything else about it? No. Well, thank you for talking to us. Back to you on the desk. November the 13th, they had an encampment at the old gym for Native Americans. They had different stations. And we got some footage with the coordinator. Oh, y'all like jerky? Yes. <laughs> All right, you can bite across the street. This is buffalo that she and her husband have raised buffalo. They slaughtered it. They butchered it. They he everywhere. And those three girls, they decided they were going to go and they were going to swimming, they were going to go have a lunch or whatever, and they were going to go wash their clothes all around the swimming hole they were going to. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's see this is Sarah Van Buren with Dogwood News, and I'm here with Robin Choney, the coordinator of Native American Week. So, tell me what the significance of this week and this month is for Native Americans. Well, the month of November is recognized um, as Native American Week. It is celebrated all through the United States. Um, here at Cash, um, during this week, we recognize um, this week as Native American Week. What kind of activities are the students participating in to help recognize this week? Well, um, we started off the week um, with um, the SEA program came out and we had the Eagle come out. Um, everybody got to see the Eagle and he told um, about the program. We had um, Indian Sign Language performance. Um, we have some teepees set out on the um, west side of the campus. Um, you know, anybody can walk there and look at them. Um, we have different stations here today. We have the food. Um, we have someone talking about buffaloes um, and the importance of buffaloes to Native Americans. Um, we have some stories. Here. We have uh, somebody from the Comanche tribe telling stories. We have someone from the Kiowa tribe telling the history of the Kiowa tribe. Um, we also do an art contest, and that uh, started this week. And we pick a winner from each building for that. It sounds interesting. Thank you for. Oh God, for that. Ms. Garfrey has been taking her leadership class to the intermediate to tutor little kids. Melissa Duran interviewed Melissa Callie about it. Yeah. I'm Melissa and I'm here with Ms. Godfrey. So I hear you're doing a fundraiser for FCCLA. Yes, we are. We have two items. We, we are selling salsa. And it's not about the salsa, it's about the cute labels. And we have these nice, large, insulated cups. And I hear you can also buy a cash logo on there. Yes, our salsas come, well, they're mild and hot. And we can get a cash bulldog logo, 
an OU logo or an OSU logo, or there's a Red River if you don't if you're not a big fan and but want the good hot sauce. And also on the cups, I hear you can buy like all the like sports and <laughs> yeah, there ones. there's some sports teams. There's some cute ones. Unfortunately, we don't have cash. Um, um, but there are there's a variety of there's like five five choices and these are ten these are only seven. Was well, there anything else you would like to tell us? It's tasty. Oh. And y'all, I'm an FCCLA member. If you would like to buy some, come to me. And thank you for talking to us. Well, thanks so much. The desk. I'm Melissa. And I'm here with Melissa and Cassie. So here y'all are mentoring over at the intermediate. Uh, yeah. Do you like it? Do you get along with the kids? <laughs> For the most part, yeah. No. So, do you like, do you help them? Do you go around? Do you have to teach class sometimes or something like uh, that? We just, well, I just walk around and I help them with their schoolwork, help them read. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking to us back y'all to this. I'm here with the Smur. We're going to ask questions about the family tree. So, what was the assignment? So for Spanish 1, they had to um, design a family tree. They had to use at least 10 different people, and they had to write um, at least two sentences about um, each person, and they had to present their um, sentences in their family tree. So um, as you can see, Savannah went above and beyond. She did a lot more than 10 people, did a very good job. Um, so hers is her actual real family. You can see here this one that Brienne did with Betty White as her grandma. And, uh, Johnny Knoxville is her grandpa, bad, grandpa, uh, bad grandpa there is, is obviously not, not a real family, but um, they have a lot of fun doing the, the fake families as well, so some of them do that. And they've all done a really good job, I'm really proud of the hard work that they've put in. Um, how long did you give them to complete the assignment? They had two weeks to work on it. Two weeks. Okay. Um, what gave you the idea for the to give the assignment? Um, I, just, I really like this assignment because it gives us an opportunity to kind of get to um, get to know each other better as a class, maybe in ways that we don't normally get to. Get to see, um, you know, each other's families, and they also included their pets and cars and houses and things like that in the project. Um, so that's one of the things I really like about it. And it kind of gets them be able to use all the vocabulary they've learned so far. Okay, well that's cool. Um, okay, back to the desk. Thanks for watching this episode of Dogwood News. 2014. Stay true.